In this video, we're gonna go over how to get your AMZ Scraper account activated, how to link AMZ Scraper to Amazon, and then the important settings you're gonna to wanna to change and modify because so your account is working correctly. So the first thing is to go to amz-scraper.com. Try now, and you'll hit this right here. You'll go to create an account. You'll hit your first name, you put your first name, your last name, your email address, password, confirm password, hit sign up. Once you hit sign up, AMZ Scraper will send you an activation email. Go to that activation email inside your email address inbox, click it, and then it'll take you back to AMZ Scraper where you will be able to sign in with your username and password that you just created. Once you do this, you will then be taken to the inside of AMZ Scraper which does not look like this. It will look like once you are in the inside of AMZ Scraper, it will look something along the lines of this. Now this is in the settings right here. So this is in the settings right here. This setting tab right here is where we're at. So. What we'll do is you can put your personal settings so it'll have your username, your first name, your last word, and your email address. Then the next one right here is Amazon. You're gonna wanna hit connect your Amazon account. And what will happen is it will show you instructions on how to connect. There'll be instructions here. It'll be a button you can click. You'll click that button and it'll take you so you can sign into your Amazon account. And you're gonna to wanna to follow the steps and basically all you'll do is you'll copy um, a couple pieces of data from AMZ Scraper over to Amazon and then you'll also copy a couple, it'll be copy a couple pieces of data from Amazon over to AMZ Scraper. There'll be a thing you'll check that'll say connect your account and that's how you'll get your account connected. Now, once your account is connected, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to Amazon settings. Now, we wanna fill it out like this. So fees, what is the fee associated with selling your products on Amazon? If you're drop shipping on Amazon or you're doing anything that's seller fulfilled, Amazon charges 15%, so you wanna make sure this says 15%. Other sale price fees. This is if you're, you know, maybe you're drop shipping in another country and you're using kind of a third-party banking system and they charge you a 2% process fee on all orders. Well, if that's the case, you wanna put that in here because Amazon or AMZ Scraper is gonna use this information to accurately display and reprice your items at the profit percent, profit margins that you set um, with inside AMZ Scraper but they use this data as well to calculate, to basically calculate this into the profit percentages to make sure that the profit dollar amounts and percentages are accurate. So that's what this is for. How many items should we push to Amazon when we source a site for availability products? I like to do five. Um, this is just me, you could do 10, I like to do five. So basically what this means is when you list an item on Amazon, Amazon will show that you have five available items to order. Now, some people say, well, okay, what happens if I start selling this item? So I sell one item, I sell two items. Now I only have three items available. Well, AMZ Scraper pretty much every two hours goes out there and checks this. So in a two hour time frame, if you've sold two items, let's say in a two hour time frame, and you only have three items available for purchase, AMZ Scraper will increase that to five. Um, I just do this just in case there's a glitch or something, or it, there wouldn't be a glitch with AMZ Scraper, but in case like, it's in case I list an item incorrectly and I sell a gazillion of them, this kind of makes it so where it kind of puts up, uh, uh, kind of a, uh, it would kind of put a damper on that, right? If I list this at 100, and let's say I list the item incorrectly and, you know, I sell, you know, 100 every two hours, well, you know, and I don't check it for a day, you know, and I have thousands of orders that I can't fulfill, I'd rather keep it at five just in case I make a mistake where, 
you know, I'd rather have, you know, potentially 30 or 40. This is just absolute worst case scenario, but potentially 30 or 40 upset customers than, you know, two or 3,000 of them, right? Now, this is unbelievably valuable. So automatically set all of your items out of stock when you reach a daily sales limit. So let's say that, you know, you are, you know, just getting started and you're drop shipping on a budget and you can you only have enough funds to fulfill $150 worth of orders a day or $500 worth of orders a day. You can set it where once you sell $500 worth of items, AMZ Scraper will basically make it where uh, you won't sell any more items. They'll take all of your items out of stock till the next day. So it allows you to kind of pace your sales a little bit more. Um, and you could change this to in sales, right? So when I have 500 dollars in sales or if you also want items sold right if you wanted to do it that reason for whatever reason i said that no uh, limit um and then here's a way to manually override it so for some reason like you know all of a sudden you had a super busy day and you know you're like all right i can't i don't really want to sell any other items for like the next few days because i sold a lot more items today than i thought i was going to be able to sell and I want to, you know, basically make sure I, I don't have any sales for a couple of days. You could force stop the sales, right? You could force stop the sales so you don't have any items. You don't have any items that sell. And then maybe you get those items fulfilled. You get some more funds and you get it force release now, which will basically make all this go back to normal. Repricing strategy. So this is the, you can reprice a couple ways. The first way is each item you upload in the AMZ scraper, you could do a custom repricing strategy for that. This is kind of a universal one. So if you don't do a custom repricing strategy for each individual item, you can make a um, you can make kind of a universal one. So what I like to do is beat lowest. So what beat lowest will do, minimum profit. Beat lowest minimum profit will make it where I'm going to make at least 9.5% profit on my items. And Amazon will keep lowering my item by a penny, pretty much every two hours, against the competitor's items till I'm either A, the cheapest seller, and the uh, the competitor isn't repricing, the other people selling on Amazon, they're, they're not repricing anymore, or till I get to the point where AMZ Scraper sees that they've lowered my item to the point where I'm making at least 9.5% profit. And at this point, it won't reprice my item anymore. So you could do this for a profit percent or a dollar amount. Um, and then, of course, if you, what you could do is you could do you could do like a universal strategy of a certain profit percent, and then you could also do individual items. If there's certain items that you might want to do a different profit percent or a dollar amount, you can do that in those items as well. Price drop protection. This can prov um, uh, this can make it aware if there is a. Uh, I always I just set this at no limit, but you can make it aware if there is a. You know, let's say the the item drops by you know by you know maybe fifty percent. Um, you can make it where there's uh, price drop protection to kind of prevent you um, uh, to, 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 to prevent you from an example of this is if let's say the drop shipping company has a sale and they have a sale and they do a 20% off sale for a day because they got them for whatever reason right maybe they got some old product they got to move so they did, they got to do a sharp sale of like 20% off for a couple days they sell their own inventory and then they go back in stock um, you know, this could help you kind of getting hit with that and, you know, having more of a, not as many ups and downs. I don't actually worry about this at all. I just say no limit and just kind of let it ride and I haven't had any issues. A good profit percent, by the way, um, to do is like 9.5 or 10% is good. Um, a lot of people are not, uh, are still finding products manually. So you will quickly see when you start using AMZ Scraper, it is not too difficult to consistently find hot selling products that can make you 10, 15 plus percent. Um, 10 percent is good though. 10 percent is like a good solid rule. Um, some people even go like 7, 8 percent, but we've been doing, I do 9.5 percent, haven't had any issues. Default shipping handling. 
what you want to do here is you want to set this I'd recommend setting this at five days I'd recommend setting this at five days and when you get a little bit more advanced you could lower it I've talked about um, in another video inside AMZ scraper when you get more advanced and why it could be okay to lower the default shipping handling time to three days but I would set it at five days four days three days is you know kind of pushing it if you kind of want a general recommendation set it at four to five days if you want to be a little bit more conservative five if you want to be a little bit more aggressive four and then after a month you get kind of the hang of it and maybe you lower it to four even possibly three just kind of make sure you go through the videos names the scraper that kind of because uh, there's a part where i talk about that um, migrated templates so please add up to five of your favorite shipping templates so if we go to our amazon storefront and you'll see right here we've done 936 dollars in sales today this is 100 percent drop shipping 936 dollars in sales today um drop shipping only using amz scraper it's a beautiful thing but anyway if we go here we go to settings we're gonna go to where are we gonna go to we're looking for shipping settings and uh, you want to set up like uh, if you haven't already you want to set up like your uh, shipping template if you have a shipping template you want to you want to kind of set up a, a shipping template here and you can have multiple ones I just have one and it's called the migrated template so whatever the name of it is you will take that and then you'll go back here and you'll paste the name of it in right there so I just have one template you could have multiple templates but you want to whatever the template is in, a in Amazon you do want to put it in there and then you'll hit save changes next moving right along we're gonna to go to source settings so this is important because what you can do is if you have like sales tax or if you purchase items if you have other fees you can calculate that in here as well so for example um like uh you know it's not too uncommon for people that buy items from walmart or home depot to be using gift cards especially home depot is a little bit more popular for that so let's say that you have home depot gift cards of three percent or five percent you can put that in here and amz scraper will calculate the fact that you have home depot gift cards at five percent off into the will when when they're doing the repricing and it's important to do this because you know if you do have like a you know a Home Depot gift card let's say five percent or even for anything is fine I'm just making up numbers four percent off that will allow you to be more competitive price or wise with your items um, you know let's say you have a Walmart account and you're drop shipping from Walmart if you get a Walmart credit card which you know just as a way of providing additional value to all the people in AMZ scraper community just go to walmart.com you can apply for the credit card for free anything you buy with the Walmart credit card is 5% off so what we could do is we could enter that in there if we get the Walmart credit card and we get approved and now I'm able to lower my items AMZ scraper will keep me at 9.5% calculating the fact that I'm getting an extra 5% off all the items I buy from Walmart so this will allow me to be competitive on some of the items I otherwise would not be able to be competitive by very very powerful this is like really 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 powerful um now if you don't have any if you're just using a debit card that's totally fine I'm pretty sure I've I've um uh, I've I've had success you can find items I'm actually gonna show you an example in real time where even if you don't get any discounts I, I show you an example where I start uh, I, I start from scratch inside AMZ scraper where it just so happens the first item AMZ scraper finds for me is like 15% profit and it doesn't even use any credit card discounts or anything like that but if you have them it doesn't hurt to use it so I don't want you to think you need it um, but if you have it it will help you be you know it, it will help you get the buy box for you know some items that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get them for so it's good to put them in there um, here's a sales tax so again if you are charged sales tax on any of the companies you can enter that in here as well um, for Walmart 
I like, uh, so you can make it where it's Walmart only. It's items that are shipped and sold by Walmart. You could do Walmart preferred or lowest offer. I like to keep it a Walmart. Um, I, uh, there's, you know, I like it to be a, the, 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 where it's, it's, it's Walmart only. That's what I use. Um, and then you can ch change this for your other items as well. So they support Overstock, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, Zorro, Pia. Anything that you see here is um, they support it. Then you want to hit save. Next is the billing. This just goes over your billing. And then finally, you have your invoices. This will show you like invoices you've paid. But that's that. So you want to go through all this. You want to connect your account. You want to set up Amazon settings, kind of the universal ones. And then you do want to set up your source settings. And then what's nice um, is, you know, you can kind of manipulate this. So like when I was starting off drop shipping, um, I got to the point where... It took me some time, but I got to the point where I would start to run out of money to fund my orders. One of my biggest problems was finding profitable items, and I found AMZ Scraper, and it turned out not to be an issue anymore. So, like, what I would do is towards, let's say there was, like, you know, it was the last, you know, let's say that I was starting to sell too many items, and I was running out of money to fund those orders till my wire from Amazon hit that I could use to fund more orders. So what I would do is instead of marking my items out of stock, which, you know, or instead of putting my store in vacation mode, but generally you don't want to do. Generally, if you can avoid it, it's best not to put your Amazon store in vacation mode. So what I would do to slow down the sales is I would just increase the, uh, the percent, right? So if it's at 9.5% and I increase it to like 11%, in doing so, this says that I want all my items to make 11.5% profit or more. In doing so, this would slow down my sales because there would be a handful of items that like was right at 9.5% that if I increase it to 11.5%, I'm no longer really competitive anymore. And this would allow me to kind of slow down my sales without putting my store in vacation mode. Big, big, big benefit, right? And if that doesn't do it, I might increase it even more, right? If you increase it to 17.5%, that would probably slow down your sales even more. Then once my money got hit from Amazon, right, and I got the wire from Amazon, and then I could use that money to fund mortars, I would just go ahead and decrease it to 9.5% again and kind of be back to business like usual. And the final thing is, anytime you make a change, you always want to hit save changes at the bottom. But that's that. That is how to set up your settings.